I have greatly enjoyed the opportunity to lead the project with some of the support structures of a research project, but also with the freedoms of a student group. I believe that this is the most effective and enjoyable way to solve important technical challenges here at the University of Minnesota. Hi, I had the privilege of being a part of the hydrostatic wind turbine project since the very beginning. The project is started as a collaboration between the Center for Compact and Efficient Fluid Power and the Innovative Engineer Student Group uh, because of their shared uh, need for developing an efficient and reliable wind turbine. We originally started with just two people in January of 2012, and over the next year and a half, the team grew as we developed the wind turbine. We spent about nine months designing the wind turbine, another six months building the turbine, and about another two months testing. What we are doing is we are making a hydrostatic wind turbine. That is, we are taking the energy from the wind to turn a shaft that goes through a pump, send hydraulically the power down to another pump to spin a generator. My primary job is working with the electrical system, and that would be... Uh, I guess all the control circuits, making it so that everything can run right, sensing temperature, pressure, things like that, um, and then controlling the power when it comes into the system. My primary job was uh, the mechanical design, so uh, designing all the components in the nacelle, in pro engineer, also designing and uh, buying all the materials for the transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think it's a, a great way for students to get involved with a hands-on project that really applies what they've learned in a variety of classes. You have the hydraulic circuits, you have the mechanical design, you have electrical design, you have uh, all sorts of other uh, fluid power and uh, fluid dynamic issues coming together, and it's a great way to, to bring all that together in a real-world example that students get good experience uh, working on a, a team project. My involvement in the project is primarily to look over the shoulders of the students working on it and be amazed by what they're doing. The Hydrostatic Wind Turbine Project is a, an it's amazing project that links so many things. It, it links student engagement and faculty research and engagement and outreach to communities and implementation for people who need these things. It's a chance to see all these things coming together and in particular it links our fluid power ideas and our electric ideas and our wind energy ideas in a way that is so unique that captures the imagination of students and researchers all across. Every, everyone that was brought into this has been excited about this kind of, these, these possibilities. At this point the project is finished and some of us including myself are graduating. It is time for a new leader to step up and lead the project to the next stage. The continuation of this project would really be to start capturing long-term wind data and to validate the efficiency of, of this transmission and, uh, and you know, as we start to, to modify the hydrostatic wind turbine um, and the transmission itself, how do we improve the efficiency? And then further down the road would be to start adding energy storage to this, which would tie into some of the, the research work going on here at the University of Minnesota. What kind of students should be coming to us, not who I'm looking for, but who should be showing up? They all should. There's not a student here in engineering that wouldn't benefit from work of this nature. I challenge an undergrad at the University of Minnesota to step up to the challenge of leading this project to the next stage of developing a more efficient, reliable, and sustainable winter.